Amateurish, unpopular, and by the end of next year, unable to be turned on. No, I'm not talking about the Minister for Communication, Malcolm Turnbull, but a decision he's made concerning community television. Mr Broadband has finally undertaken the media reform the whole industry has been calling for, the death of all community TV stations. Which is a great pity, in my view. A lot of us got our start there. I began my TV career... <laughs> There, as a young man, pulling cables for Hamish and Andy and supplying crack to Rove. <laughs> they were too busy to do it themselves, and look at them now. Community television stations will no longer be broadcasting by December of 2015. The ABC will take a little longer to kill off, obviously. <laughs> On the plus side, this does free up more bandwidth for a much-needed seventh shopping channel, and I'm certainly looking forward to that, because <laughs> I've completely run out of spray-on Vaseline. <laughs> The federal government has foreshadowed moves to take community television stations off air by the end of next year. Communications Minister Malcolm Turnbull maintains their future is online, but the stations themselves believe it's the end of the line. It's the home of eclectic television and generates cult followings. We've got a great new show lined up for you for two But at the end of next year, community TV stations won't be getting their licences renewed. We are facing the death of community television in, in this country, which is an extraordinary um, situation to face and a great shame. They had feared this was coming and lobbied hard. Made by and for the community. That could all end very soon. Malcolm Turnbull is one of the more competent government ministers, so you can rest assured he made the decision after thorough consultation with those affected. This decision has been made public without any communication or process of consultation with community TV stations. I'd like to issue a correction to a previous statement I made. Malcolm Turnbull is the minister for no communications, but he does have some big plans for community television. The government believes that the best outcome for community television is that in future it uses the internet as its distribution platform. The government that brought back knights and dames wants to tell us about the future. So, although community television has provided valuable training for countless TV professionals and produced several successful entertainers, it seems there's just no room on the broadcast spectrum for community television. Uh, televisions that are being sold today are, uh, are capable of being connected to the internet. And of course, you don't need uh, you know much in the way of equipment. You need a Chromecast dongle or... Apple TV or a similar setup <clears throat> to be able to stream um, your, um, you know, uh, internet content from a device like an iPhone or a tablet. Do you think that's another language to some of the older, <clears throat> older viewers and some of our older listeners who are not necessarily up with the, the technology of watching TV and movies on the internet? Well, you you would be surprised. Uh, you'd be surprised that the uh, there are some there are some. Uh, you know, there's a lot more sophistication out there than you, than you would imagine. These cutbacks make no sense. We should be having a free and frank debate, an exchange of ideas. That's what a democracy is all about. We need more voices in the media. We need a diversity of opinion and a healthy discourse and discussion. That's what a democratic Victoria and Australia is all about. Cutting funding for uh, multicultural broadcasting, cutting funding for the ABC and the SBS, cutting funding for Channel 31 and community broadcasting, is not the way to go. It's wrong uh, and it's uh, certainly not something that Labor could ever, ever back. Great to have some diversity on TV. It's great to know what you're not about to say next, which is me. And it's just bloody great to be alive. Yeah, I think uh, Malcolm, T if you're playing a drinking game at home, I just want to say Malcolm Turnbull. Malcolm Turnbull, Malcolm Turnbull, Malcolm Turnbull. <laughs> I guess with everything that's happening with Channel 31 at the moment, you, you, you have to remember that that was 50 people who are working actively to try and get themselves a start in, in film and television uh, specifically, who just won't have that same opportunity uh, if we were pushed to the internet. All these shows that you love watching will no longer be able to broadcast. And all the production companies, all the new up-and-coming artists, the producers, directors, actors, cameramen, editors and many more will no longer have anywhere to practice their new skills, their skills to develop and move on to bigger and better futures. Community television is very, very important. There's nobody else throws a spotlight on community football clubs for a start not counting all of the other great community programs uh, on Channel 31. You're too true, Dags. Uh, and I think that, you know, you don't want to lose what Channel 31 are able to produce here. 
you know, throughout. We, we only have 90 minutes each week. But boy, there's a lot of good television that could go to rack and ruin with the, just a swipe of the pen from the politicians. Whether you're on camera, behind the camera, producing, directing, whatever it is, it's a place where you can practice um, without too many people saying how terrible you are. <laughs> <laughs> but it also, you know, if you can work under these conditions, then you're ideally suited to actually get a job yes. in the industry. Yes, it's a community voice, but it's also a place to be seen, to be heard, to develop your craft, hone your skills, and learn how to wear makeup. The future of Australian television is happening right here, right now. Commit to community TV. Now is the time to show your support for community television. Go to committocommunitytv.org.au, sign the petition and send a letter to Malcolm Turnbull. You can even show your support via Facebook or Twitter and don't forget to use our hashtag. Coming up next tonight on Channel 31, Behind the Antennas. And stick around a little later on, there'll be a repeat of Wednesday's Antenna Awards Ceremony. We'll be back next week with more highlights from the last 20 years. Thanks for watching. Good night, Melbourne and Geelong. <laughs> Oh, I beg your pardon. When you thought your services rendered there, I'm, I'm, the hands I'm, I'm, are shaking. I'm, I'm sorry, Joseph, it was a 20. What was I thinking? Um, <laughs> have you got change? <laughs> Hello, Paul Hicks. How are you? See? So he's a nice boy, you see. someone cares. Now, cares. now, if anyone cares, Brett Rams, of Not course, is the, is the host of Impit Lane, Tuesday nights. Live, 9.30, from this very studio. It is. It is. Can you believe it? It can actually do more than one thing. Yes, but not, the same, but not at the same That's, time, as yeah. you well know, Joe. Yeah, Brett, it's all, it's all happening here. This is Planet Earth it is. with Idiot Green. Here they are. i